So Sunday was Technoblade's 25th birthday, and his dad asked folks to commemorate it however they felt was best appropriate. Well, I used to play Hypixel Skyblock quite a while. It's been quite a while since I have, and I know Hypixel Skyblock was a really big thing with Technoblade. Some of my favorite videos were from Hypixel Skyblock of his. So I went and grabbed a publicly available Technoblade skin and hopped onto Skyblock for the first time in quite a while to give away a bunch of money. So where am I gonna get all the coins? One good thing about Hypixel Skyblock is your minions keep working when you're not logged in. So I checked my slime minions and each one had about 80 million a piece. I'd already collected some from a couple of them, as you can see here. And there was also money in my bank account from a lot of interest that I didn't need to dip into. My initial plan was to meet people at the map in the hub. If you're in the hub, most people know where the map is, so they pick that as a place to get together and do trades and things like that. A lot of times people go to the map and say, meet me there to, give money, to get some money. So I thought that's the perfect way to, to do this. And I really expected a bunch of people would just come up and I'd be giving money away until it was all gone and it would happen really fast. <laughs> well, first off, I didn't know how to do trades anymore because I've been off of Hypixel Skyblock for so dang long. I could not remember a lot of the mechanics. I was trying to right click people. <laughs> it was it was uh, kind of bonkers. So and a lot of people came up and did try to trade with me. So I was just clicking on their trade request and that wasn't working because the server was lagging. So this got off to a bumpy start, but eventually we, we got around to giving some money away. So this guy, Tebby1, was already asking for money when I showed up. And I normally find that really obnoxious, and I block those people immediately. Back when I used to play this a lot. and uh, But this time, you know, I'm here to give money, so I decided to go ahead and be an enabler. He is one of the first people that got money. I think it just kind of was, the order was kind of based on whoever was, whoever's trade request I was able to get working. At this point, I'd at least figured out the interface and I was trying to make some trades, but when I would click to complete the trade, it was saying too laggy and it wouldn't go through. I had 170 million to give away, so I kept at it and finally got some of them to go through. And then after a while, I remembered that there was a lot of slash commands on Hypixel Skyblock and slash trade, I could open trades with people. So that was my first trade going through. It took me a while. I cut out a lot of the time where it just said it was too laggy to trade. <laughs> So even though Tebby1 was annoying, he at least thanked me and left after I gave him some money. I ended up giving Phantom1 money twice. He kept pinging me for more money, and I didn't catch it. So I two, twice in a row, I gave him 5 million coins. And then a short time later, here he is sending me another trade request. At this point, I'd caught on to it and said, just one per person, please. Can you really blame him, though? I mean, if he got away with it twice and got 10 million, like, why not try again? <laughs> I clearly wasn't paying enough attention. And that's when I finally remembered all the slash commands in Hypixel Skyblock and, and remembered slash trade and I started one with Xerxes. Alright, listen guys. Slash commands are the reasons why you shouldn't have long complicated names in Hypixel Skyblock. This poor Canadian slime ran away, was just looking at the map apparently, and ran away as he was just about to be handed 5 million coins. Now that I figured out how to open the trade myself, I decided I'd wander around and just try to pick people, preferably people with that looked new. And you can kind of tell either by the armor they're wearing, but more by like their health score and stuff like that. It's, it gives you an idea that they're probably newer, because as you get more experience in the game, you get higher health and stuff like that. As you can see in the chat, I'm trying to explain what I'm up to. It says, if you see Technoblade approaching, I'm trying to give you money. I'm not sure if it helped. Here's where I'm reminded that people playing bingo can't trade. I, I, I'll be honest, I never really understood that game. It would have saved me a lot of misfires if I'd realized that that circle B next to their name meant they were playing bingo, but I didn't realize it all night long. Sometimes people run away before you can complete the trade. People are busy in Skyblock. 
and sometimes people are playing a tougher version of the game called Iron Man where you can't trade at all, ever. And big respect to those people because trading is a huge part of this game. Sometimes I'm chasing people down trying to trade with them, and like I said, people are busy. I tried several times with this guy who seems to be new and he just said no. After chasing down more people that wouldn't hold still, I decided to make another announcement. Oh my god, don't put numbers in your name if you want people to trade with you. This is me getting frustrated at people running away from me. This guy's a bit shocked. He's pretty new, so that's probably quite a bit of money to suddenly come into this early in the game. Okay, number one, he's got Raccoon in his name, just like me, and that's a plus. And number two, he's obviously a techno fan. That's another plus, and that's going to come back up again later. So at this point I decided to speed things along and up my game to 10 million a gift and starting with Chaotic Raccoon who's already gotten 5 million so this will put them up to 15 million. I decided to give the map another try and see if I could get people to come to me. I'm not showing it all just to keep the video from getting too long, but people were sending a lot of thank yous. Sixty-nine, nice. So this guy immediately blocked me. I can't really blame him too much because there are a lot of scams on high on sky blocks so you kind of got to be careful someone runs up to you and opens a trade window it, it might be fishy So Lil Laser wanted to show me a skin on my island, so I went there and turns out Lil Laser is a big techno fan, which is cool. Decided to give more money, of course.
At this point, I decided to wrap things up and give the rest of the money to the next person to approach me at the bow. And that wrapped it up. 25 million coins for a total of 170 million coins, and I wish Technoblade a happy birthday. As a bonus, I decided to make a Technoblade character for City of Heroes, complete with diamond sword and a costume to match a lot of the fan art depictions of them that I've seen. And I ran him through a beginning adventure called Death From Below. If you want to see that, it'll be up for a little while on my Twitch account. I might post the whole thing later, actually, as another video, so maybe keep an eye out for that as well. Here's a little preview. I have Brawl. Oh my god. Oh well, whatever. So blah.